we doing an oil change today on my 2009 BMW 328. It's a fairly easy process, maybe about uh, a little under you know, 30 minutes, an hour maybe if you're not experienced, but let's so do it. So for this process, you don't need much tools. Um, a socket wrench, 17 millimeter socket or wrench, but socket is a lot better. Uh, and just something sharp, something small and sharp to take off the rings at some point. So either a knife or a little flathead. And you'll want this special tool to take off the oil filter cap. Just makes it a lot easier. You can put the socket in here, takes it off, saves, saves your life. So get this online and and then just a uh, oil pan, jack stand, whatever, you know, all that stuff, obviously. But this is really all you need. All right. We're going to slide the jack underneath i like to do it in the center part it's hard to see from down here but it's a little block looks like that here's a slightly better angle you're gonna put the jack on this fella and yep that's where you're jacking it up at from the center point and then once that's up i'll put your jacks on all right now we got the car lifted cool slide this guy under we're gonna be loosening a nut underneath the car and we're gonna be using a 17 millimeter socket for that so this is where you would jack up the car you're gonna have a little thing right here usually it's off because people have already worked on it and they just taken it off so many times they just leave it off you're gonna get a flathead me i'm lazy i'm just gonna rip it off and then okay i can't move and here you're gonna have the 17 millimeter bolt that we're gonna be taking out we're gonna break the bolt with the 17 millimeter socket and then we're gonna let it drain off into the pan. For, for my sake, I'm gonna put the camera down because I did not let this car cool down and it's been running for about two hours. So I'm going to let this flow into the pan. So I got that draining, got the bolt off. Now we're gonna come up here, you need your special tool. I'm gonna just twist this thing off. That's my first time doing the oil on this car actually, so. We'll see what, what's about to happen. Never seen that type of cap before. And we're just gonna open that up, let it drain out. While that's draining, we're gonna take this out, replace it with the filter. Highly recommend man filter for any BMW. Don't get anything cheap from AutoZone or anywhere else. Get man filter. And we're gonna replace that while that's still draining. Your man filter is gonna come with these four things. You got the filter obviously, and then these rings. All right, we're gonna take this guy off, trash. All right, we're gonna take out that ring. It's usually not red, but I'm gonna take him out. Make sure you know where it's at because I've had this problem before where I didn't put it in the right spot. You're gonna have to put it in the same exact spot. Take that out, wipe it down, let's be clean. We're gonna put this one on. Should just snap right into place same spot right here don't don't go in the very top one i've had a very bad experience with that you don't want to find out so put it in this spot it'll clip right on and then you're gonna have one more ring right there all right this thing wanted to play games so i got a knife i'll just cut you out put him back on I should have just put that on first but whatever put that all right should be like that now we're gonna put this back in the car put this in here hand tighten it and we're gonna crank it down with this guy same thing, don't over tighten it. Just get it tight. Don't gotta be a math wizard. All right. That's on there. I take off the old ring from your plug that took off the oil with and put this on it. And then you're just gonna wipe this down and then we're gonna put it back in. So I got it started hand tight and I just screw them in I wipe down the remaining area just to make it clean, no leaks or nothing. 
we got the bolt hand tightened. Now we're just gonna take our 17 millimeter socket, tighten it down. Don't over tighten it, just get it tight. You'll know, it's tight. I don't do no math, I just tighten it. This is the package, what I end up getting most of the time. Uh, man filters in there, but you get your oil, and then I usually like to get the engine flush and the additive for after the oil. But with the engine flush, you're just gonna let your car run for about 10 minutes add the engine flush and it does what it says it flushes a lot of the metals and stuff in your engine it just helps clean now it out to pour your oil in i i like liquid molly uh 5w40 uh, again fcp euro for all this stuff you can return all the old oil and get your money's worth back and yeah something i learned is always pour it sideways if you don't have have a filter it just makes it a little bit easier uh, take this nice and easy I feel like there's so many bugs on me. Oh yeah, yep, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. I like to add this at the end of the oil changes. It just keeps your engine a little more fresh. It's like an additive that just kind of helps the engine life and the motor running strong. So you just mix it up and then pour it in. Stuff looks like an orange cream milkshake. Now you just did an oil change. Cool. Good job, guys. Uh, a funny little tip. Um, I like to oil all my black parts because it makes it shiny rather than soaping it up. Just add some oil. Gives it a nice shine. Now, I didn't do any before videos, but just know this engine bay was not this... Uh, clean looking like it just looks a lot deeper of a black just gives it an overall cleaner look all right last thing i forgot to mention uh again with fcp euro i don't know if i said this before but you can send back all your old parts so the oil that i just used i'm gonna pour back into the current oil cans and send it back to them and you get all your money back in store credit you just have to pay for shipping so this whole package all this oil and the additives whatnot they were 130 dollars maybe and i have to pay like 20 to 25 in shipping but i get 125 dollars back on my store credit so you can just save a lot of money it's all on their website but it's just a game changer if you have a european car highly recommend